you have to interface with the beautiful minds of mathematical science. Consistency matters a lot. What's more important is the fun and the depth of knowledge that you will have during the process. Hello children, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this video, we will talk about two things. First, we will discuss certain strategies for IOQM, RMO and American Math competition. These are the mathematical Olympiads in India and US. This year, our students did really well in IOQM. Uh, I think 40 kids got through the next level, IOQM to RMO, and 10 kids got regional certificates. That fifth, that's about 50. Uh, this is from about 120 students who actually appeared for the IOQM test from Jeddah. So we are very proud of them. We have, we have, we'll invite them to tell their stories to you so that you can also feel inspired and learn from them. Okay. And just now, a uh, couple of days ago, the RMO results are also out. The regional math Olympiads, that's the second level of the real mathematical Olympiads in India. And uh, 11 students from Chinta. So out of 40, those 11 students qualified for the next level, which is the Indian National Math Olympiad. Again, congratulations to them. Uh, I will share with you a couple of things that we have found very, very effective in this sort of real mathematical Olympiads. Uh, first of all, be very careful. There are quite a few fake math Olympiads out there. I don't want to name names, but the only official mathematical Olympiad in India is the IOQM, which is the first level. And the second one is RMO, which is the regional math Olympiad. And the third one is INM, INMO. So this starts from grade 8. If you are younger than grade 8 student, then at Chinda, we suggest Australian math competition, math kangaroo and NMTC. That's it. Sometimes we also suggest AMC 8. Why do we stick to these? You have to understand this very carefully. The reason we stick to these Olympiads is because these are conducted by the actual mathematical associations of India, Australia, in Singapore, uh, United States and so on. Not by some private company. So if you are choosing a mathematical competition, very nice. But first, make sure that it is conducted by a real mathematical association of some country. Okay? So be careful about that. Alright, so how do you go about preparing for IOQM and RMO? We have talked about this topic quite a few times. At Chinta, we mentor students toward this direction from grade 1 in, in the beautiful world of non-routine mathematics. But I give you certain small things that are really, really effective in the long run. First, build a small math library at your home. Do not read books that are authored by publication houses just for the sake of a particular contest. Read books that are authored by real mathematicians. Mathematicians who have taken years to learn the subject, who are passionate trainers for Olympiads. You can check the link in the description for a list of such books that we have suggested to our students. This list, list keeps on getting larger, so uh, I'm sure you will enjoy it. Don't buy all of those books at once, just buy one or two at a time. And we have suggested books for young people like grade 1 to 6, grade 7, 8, grade 9 and above. So whatever your age group is, buy one or two books at a time. Build a small math library at your home and try those problems, fiddle with those ideas. That is the first and the most important step. You have to interface with the beautiful minds of mathematical science. That's very important. You have to learn from the masters. The second thing, if you are enrolled in Chinta, then make sure to attend five days a week problem solving sessions. We have seen this over and over again. Students who regularly attend two regular classes, which are uh, concept class and one-to-one. -one. Sometimes that's also conducted one-to-one. -one. 
one to one homework class and the second the five problem solving classes these six to seven classes if you attend them regularly that consistency matters a lot and we have seen this over and over again students who are really 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 good they actually attend all the sessions depending on the time zone let's say you're from us or canada or europe then you there might be four instead of five problem solving sessions but make sure to attend all of them that's the second part and the third part which is also equally important and many students are actually enjoying it quite a lot is the panini h software the problem solving software at chinta which is an adaptive problem solving software where you can ask for help where you can you know solve interesting problems the software learns what are your strengths what are your weaknesses it tells you you it 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 gives you ideas where to work on so spend at least 15 to 20 minutes time every day in the software and we are making working hard to make it even better and more problems to it and a mathematics related messenger application you can check the link in the description for all that so these three things build a small math library if you are attending chinta then make sure to attend every day 7 days a week means every day right every day you attend and do beautiful mathematics third thing 15 20 minutes of problem solving in the software so those are the three things for iqm rmo or american math competition or similar contests all around the world okay the second part you know at chinta we focus on overall mentoring overall mentoring means we start working with a child from grade 1 we see the child's growth as the growth of a tree you have to give proper resources to the child but we have to be very careful these resources must not overwhelm the child or the parent because really we are not living in an age of information uh, um, scantiness we are living in an age of information overflow there is so much information there people are confused where to go what contests to take which books to read which scholarships to apply for so this was a overall mentoring thing that we have started for the last 6 months uh, in in fact we were doing it for the last 2 3 years but right now about 6 months ago we have used the software we have built a software for this active mentoring and every 15 days we sit with you and your parents and we review what's going on some of the students are already using this service the active mentoring service The basic idea is this if you are planning for some of the best places of knowledge let's say Oxford Cambridge Harvard uh, MIT Stanford and so on and Chinta students go there regularly then we have a an alternate path for you a path towards beautiful education that does not involve rote learning that involves passionate pursuit of knowledge with a lot of fun and what is this method the first thing you start with non routine mathematics physics or computer science this is the olympiad programs the second layer are research projects again check the link in the description for the beautiful summer and winter research projects that we have from different students the third layer is entrepreneurship and leadership So what we do is we help our students to get attached with small entrepreneurs or non-profits and build real world value. This is a lot of fun. It's a great learning process. And uh students have done wonderful work in the past. So these three steps, Olympiad starts in grade 1, research starts in grade 8, 9, some younger students also attend if they have been attending the chinta classes for some time and then leadership you don't need to do all three of them but at least two of them will be really really good so if you are a member of the chinta community make sure to attend the active mentoring sessions and think about 
all the three steps of this process toward the university applications. And I'm sure university applications are important, they're the end goal. But what's more important is the fun and the depth of knowledge that you will have during the process. Okay. All right. Uh, that's all for me from me today. I'm sure you will be having a lot of fun with a lot of beautiful problems. All the best. And I wish to see you in our community as well. So stay with us. Okay. Take care. Bye.